1917 follows the story of two British soldiers as they rush and try to stop a British attack falling into an ambush. The fact that the story follows these soldiers led director Sam Mendes to the idea of making the film one continuous shot following them on their mission. MPC won the Oscar for their visual effects work on 1917, and it's not surprising. Normally, we'd mention how many shots they did, but in this film, it's supposedly just one. Or, thanks to MPC, it looks that way. And what we can say is that they did the VFX work on approximately 91% of the film. As you probably know, it's virtually impossible to shoot a two-hour film in one continuous shot. So MPC had to be ingenious when stitching shots together. Sometimes they used natural architecture of a piece of landscape. Sometimes fading or morphing a transition required a different solution. The scene where Schofield runs through the burning city of Echost and then jumps into a river only to be taken away by the rapids was particularly difficult because neither the city nor the river existed. The city was built on a backlot in Shepperton Studios. VFX were then used to make it look like a natural environment. The tremendously complicated river sequence was shot at a canoe training centre in the north of England. Where they got shots of Schofield splashing around and going down a waterfall, the team then had to add an entirely digital river around Schofield as well as enlarge the waterfall. For this scene, the team built a practical biplane and put it on a 20-foot ramp. In one shot, the actors act like there's a dogfight going on above them and the German plane is hit. As it flies towards them, they run. In a separate shot, they crash a practical plane into the ground and the actors react to it. Both scenes were then seamlessly married together. As we mentioned before, 91% of this film had some V effects. This is for a couple of different reasons. One was because filming such wide open shots in the countryside meant they couldn't hide machinery, power lines or vehicle tire tracks, all of which had to be removed in post. Secondly was what had to be added in post. The land had to look more war stricken, rats, blood, dust and explosions were all added in post. In fact, with so many things added and so much VFX work done, the biggest effect they managed to pull off was making us think they didn't have any. As always, please help us out by giving us a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget the links to the music used in this video are in the